Thank you. Mr Speaker, I cannot support this motion because it is partisan and unbalanced in its wording. There is no recognition in this motion of the right of Israel to defend itself. Even after the most horrendous events of the 7th of October. Indeed, is there even a recognition in this motion of the right of Israel to exist, which would have to be the starting point for any solution going forward? And indeed, this motion is worse than not accepting the right of Israel to defend itself. It, in fact, expressly wants to deny Israel the right to defend itself because it tells us that it calls for an end to arms sales to Israel. How is Israel to defend itself if this house says you shouldn't get any arms? So the inference inescapably of this motion is that those who tabled it thinks that Israel should not be able to defend itself. Yes, I'll give away. Way. First of all, in relation to defending itself, I don't think any, as I said in my remarks and others have said, the scale of what Israel have done in the last seven months goes way, way beyond any concept of defending oneself. But just in relation to, he mentioned about Israel existing, obviously it, if he reads the text of our motion, it affirms the support for a two-state solution. Clearly implicit in recognition of a two-state solution is that the state of Israel would exist. Uh, members, an extra minute. A word of rebuke for Hamas. Not a word of rebuke of their actions since the 7th of October. Not a word of rebuke for the thousands of rockets fired into Israel. Yes, a call, stop arms sales to Israel. But not a word of rebuke for Hamas bombarding Israel with rockets night after night after night. No call in this motion for Hamas a terrorist organization to give up its assaults. No call in this motion for Hamas to give up its dogma of de dedication to the annihilation of Israel. No call to uh, recognize the state of Israel. Rather, a quite partisan approach to this whole issue. A partisanship which was carried further, of course, in the single Sinn Féin contribution. A, a contribution which didn't manage to make any mention of condemnation of Hamas. Not a word of condemnation. Not a word of condemnation of hostage-taking. Maybe no surprise for a party which apologises, which doesn't apologise but supports the actions of the IRA in taking hostages. But not a word, couldn't even bring themselves to condemn the hostage taking uh, or to call for the release of hostages. And then those same people talk about morality and lecture this, those of us uh, who would dare to speak against this motion, and in the words of Ms. Hunter, question our morality. Oh, sorry, morality cuts both ways. And this is a motion crying out for the insertion of some morality in recognizing the right of Israel to exist, the right of Israel to defend itself, and the unbridled condemnation that it should contain of Hamas. And the absence of all those things, this is a tawdry motion not worthy of support.